Hello everyone, it's Miriam Wallace. Welcome to my channel, Restoring Ghetto's Forgotten Daughters. You guys have to uh, excuse my background, but I'm trying to be to put out more content, so you gotta kinda catch me in, on the move. I'm a very active, busy person. So you caught me in the, the women's locker room at my gym. But I had a topic that I wanted to bring up, and there, there are five key points to let you know if a man, ladies, if a man is not planning on marrying you. The first one I'm bringing up is going to be you, he never invites you to family barbecues, family get together, family anything, family funerals, anything that has to do with uh, family togetherness. On his part, you're never invited. Secondly, if you've ever invited him to family gatherings, barbecues, get togethers, anything of substance so you can meet his family, I mean, so he can meet your family and he never accepts, then, um, you know, he's not really thinking about including you in, into his everyday life. Uh, number three, if he talks about his goals, his dreams, and his aspirations, and you're never included in any of them, that's a sign. Um, number four, if he only calls you late nights, uh, say 10 o'clock on, he, he's, he's calling you 12, 11 o'clock in the morning, you already know what that is. And if he does take you on a date, it's always late night dates. That's another sign. My grandmother always told me about men that only come around in the dark. They only want one thing. And that, that tends to be true. Final but not last is if, ladies, if he's married. And you know what? You would think that we would already know married men are off limits. But some of us, for whatever reason, and I'm not judging anybody, we may open our, you know, I guess, the thought of actually being a side piece. I've never had that thought, but there are some women that do, for whatever reasons. I'm not judging any of you, but I'm saying, ladies, you're better than that. You can have your own man, you don't have to share him. Now, what I mean by if he's, or if he's already married, he's in a relationship, you know this, that's one scenario. Then there's a whole other scenario out there. If he's still married and he's been separated from his wife a couple of years, maybe a year or two, some men uh, are still married and they've been separated five plus years. He is not trying to dissolve that marriage. He's not trying to separate himself from that woman. Then why would you waste your time with him? He doesn't plan on moving forward and making you his bride or making an honest woman out of you. I, I just wanted to bring this up to encourage women from all over, I know they say the men to the African-American rate to, to, you know, like men to women ratio. I'll never follow all of that because I heard that when I was single. I was single for about 11 plus years, but I never let that statistic or those numbers scare me into thinking I had to settle for somebody that wasn't God's best for me. I still believe that there was somebody out there just for me and I want to encourage you ladies to understand you don't have to share you don't have to settle you know you don't have to be hurt you don't have to be lied to or played with there are signs that men give you from the very get-go those men don't waste your time with them I mean you need to get so good to where you can go on a lunch date with a guy or whatever and then that's what I was able to do I said, okay, I am not really, really dating anymore. And I decided to take on the celibacy um, route to where I was gonna keep myself from my husband. But I did entertain men from time to time, like on a daytime date or whatever. And I could just let him talk. And just by letting him talk, and then I talk, I would let him know, hey, we're not on the same page here. So I don't, I don't think this is headed anywhere because if you're just getting out of a long-term relationship or you're just getting divorced and I've been single for a while and I'm ready to be in a serious monogamous relationship, we're not in the same places. So ladies, understand that. I don't care how fine he is because there's some fine brothers out there. I don't care how good look, looking he is, how well-groomed he is, how fine, educated, financially set, whatever the case may be. If he if he's one of these brothers that's like, okay, let's just see where this, where this goes. Meanwhile, he's trying to sleep with you and he wants you to cook for him and clean his house and do all these fabulous things, but you don't know where this relationship is going, go the opposite direction because I guarantee you he's wasting your time. Uh, what I've heard, I have, I mean, I'm the only girl in my 
uh, immediate family. So it was like three boys and one girl. I was the only girl. But by me being around so many boys and men, I was able to kind of hear the stories and hear how they would talk about women and, and who they would take serious and who, who they wouldn't take serious. And so I know most men know that they want you when they first meet you. Like after they've had, I say give somebody maybe a couple years of your time to kind of decide if you're the one, but most men say they know immediately. So there's no need to go uh, five, six, seven, eight or nine years playing somebody's housewife when you're not. Because I guarantee you, after you break up with that brother, he meet somebody maybe in six months and marry her. So don't don't play yourself short, ladies. Understand your worth. Love yourself. Make room for your your God given mate, and don't give all your goodies to the wrong person. You want to save them for your husband. Okay, I gotta get out of here. Uh, I need to shower and get going to my next destination. You guys be blessed. I love you. Be encouraged. Bye bye.